Hey guys, Babatun Motao here. So today's video is about Google Fast Pair not working. If you don't know what Google Fast Pair means, this is Google's way of replying Apple that you can also have pop-up message like this right on your Android phone. So if you have a Google Fast Pair enabled device like this, you'll be having a pop-up that shows right on your Android phone. So you'll be having something like this if you are using Oramo Free Plus Pro and if you are using Realme Airbot, you'll be having something similar pop up like this. So you just tap on connect and it's going to connect and sync up your Airbot to your Google account. With that being said, I'll be showing you how you can actually fix it if you are experiencing any problem and it is not popping up from below or from the top maybe having your battery percentage come up this way so i'll be sharing with you how you can fix that all right first thing first i'm going to tell you is that this does not work on ios device just on android phones okay so if you are using google pixel or you are using any android phone so far it has android version 6 upward this will work for you so all you have to do is just to bring your Google Fastpay enabled accessory like this and open it up. Okay, once you open it, make sure you have your Bluetooth connection turned on and you have your location or GPS turned on. Once you have done that, you are going to see that it will pop up right on your screen. If you have done that and it is not working, then the next thing to do is to just delete the airboard from your Bluetooth devices. So how do you do that? You go to the settings of your Bluetooth devices, go to the connected device and you go to your Bluetooth, then you go to the previously connected devices, then you search for the name of the airboard if it is Realme. Uh, if it is a Rhymo Free Ports Pro, then you select the gear icon or the eye icon or the arrow by the side, then you forget it. And you are going to get a prompt message saying forget device, then you confirm it and it will take it off your previously connected devices list. Once you have done that, then you can now reconnect it by opening your AirBot case like this. Make sure you have the Bluetooth and the GPS turned on. And you are going to see it pop up like this so if i connect this it's going to sync up with my google account just as you have seen my email there and you can see it says done and it will work fine for you so anytime you pop it open as in the case it's going to show that it is connected on your google or android smartphone so if you are still experiencing issue then the next thing to do is to go to the settings of your android phone right now you have to go to the settings then you go to google right on your settings select the google and select the google option you are going to see your google account pop up then you scroll down to devices and sharing all right so when you select devices and sharing under devices and sharing you are going to see device when you select that you are going to see show notification where devices are nearby so you make sure this option is toggle on here so that you can receive notification once you bring a google fast pair enabled accessory close to it so once you are trying to connect it is going to pop up and it will connect so if you have done that and it is still not working for you then i will say you should do one more thing so all you have to do here is to go to the settings once again then locate the apps and notification option here once you select that you are going to see some of these recently opened apps if you can't find the google play service here then just go to the see all apps like you can see from my here see all apps is going to show up all the apps under the app information or app info so you scroll all the way down and search for your google play services as you can see here so you select google play services and make sure you have this notification turn on option here if you select that you are going to see it will show notification show devices with your account devices devices within reach device with your account make sure everything is toggle on here okay just scroll all the way down and make sure everything is toggle on under this google play service notification then you can go back and also look at the advanced option here 
under this advanced option you are going to see display over other apps so you select that and make sure the display over other apps option is toggled on if this is toggled on uh, this should work for you also so once you have checked that out and you have made sure that these options are toggled on then you can now try it again just open up your google enabled device and you are going to see that it will pop up something like this just as you have seen on the ios device okay and if it is not working the last result that i will say you should do is to reset the bluetooth of your smartphone so sometimes it may be an update and it may be bluetooth version right on your smartphone or maybe something wrong with the bluetooth connection you have to just go to the settings and you scri swipe all the way down you are going to see system settings then you can now go here and select the reset option as you can see then you select the reset option now you are going to see options on that reset option like reset wi-fi mobile and bluetooth so when you select that you are going to see reset wi-fi mobile and bluetooth <laughs> reset wi-fi mobile and bluetooth this will reset all network settings including wi-fi mobile data and bluetooth so if you select reset settings it's going to reset your bluetooth for you and it's going to make it connect if there is any issue with your bluetooth connection prior to this time so for me i won't be doing that because it is working perfectly well so once you have done that then you can now try to connect it and it's going to pop up right on your android device So with that being said, these are the top five ways you can use to fix your Google Fastpay not working. And if you have any issue, it is still not connecting, then just let me know down in the comment section and I'll reply you as soon as possible. I remain Babatun Demotayo and I'll see you in the video showing right on your screen right now. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.